Hi guys and welcome back to Her Light Cosmic Tarot. My name is Kamisha and I am doing Pisces reading for December the 15th through to the end of the year. Uh, I have not um, done a premeditative uh, session so I don't know what your energies are looking like. I will be shuffling in front of you and placing the cards out. Um, and if I have any jumpers, I will let you know what energies I'm seeing in and around you. Uh, these messages are general, so please know that if it's not your story, please feel free to search out a reader who has your story and it matches. Um, and then you can come back here at a later date and maybe I'm tapped into your energy then. Um, these readings are not gender specific, so if I say him, her, them, what have you, just know your position in the story and then insert yourself there. Uh, also, I do crystal advice pendulum swings, which are pendulum swings done by quartz crystal. And um, in a sense, it just gives me, you know, some insight into what chakra may be imbalanced or, you know, that needs healing and such. So I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to do a, a, a brief prayer. And then we'll see what is going on for you this month. Okay. So thank you, Holy Spirit, for joining us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for giving us the advice for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Give them the highest messages for their greatest good. Thank you forever and always. Amen. Okay, Pisces, what is going on? I am using the Mermaid Tarot deck by Lisa Robertson. I um, I am in the market for new decks. Please list some down below if you'd like to see me um, look at them, and then I'll maybe maybe I'll purchase them. We'll see if uh, I like them. Also, um, you know I'm very into. Um, whimsical and diversified decks. I love to see different nationalities, different shapes, sizes, and genders. Um, and I just like, I love, like I said, whimsical work. Uh, you know, I think I was saying to another sign how, you know, I, you know, I can't appreciate the original Rider weight deck, but I, I, I kind of wish they had a you know, a newer version, you know, that people were kind of, um, you know, different nationalities and such. So I'm, I'm getting some unhappy energy here. Some unexpected unhappy energy. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three times for Pisces. Okay. That could have been for some of you, not all of you, because I'm not picking up a big vibe for that. Okay, Pisces, someone rising from Venus. I don't know why these cards are not cooperating with me. I don't know if it's my hand. I'm getting old, guys. Yeah. yeah, so. I like to um, lay out the cards in front of you guys because I know that there are gifted tarot readers here and I know that they are fake and phony as well on YouTube. And some of them like to, you know, regurgitate and retell what other readers say. They just put the cards out in front of you guys, you know. And just copyright essentially and I'm not about that life I want you guys to get the real deal the real messages in real time so that's it we're gonna do one more on this okay. Guys, this is a rented space, so if you hear any background noises, please know that there are people around me um, in the vicinity, and I'll try my best to speak up. Two. Okay. Yeah, we, we're not getting... 
happy energies, guys. I don't know what's going on. Let's turn them around. going on what's going on guys what's going on guys what's going on guys the blue the color blue might be significant for you guys You guys also, um, if you are feeling um, a certain type of way, please remember to um, either sage, sage your surroundings, clear and cleanse your surroundings. Yeah. Yes. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's just some kind of negative energies around you. Maybe that's not even you. One more. Yeah, because I'm getting like, that's not even your energy. Just be careful of the energies around you. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to be using the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck. Um... This is some advice cards as well, just to tie in the reading. So, the Earth Wisdom Oracle deck. Um, it is an Irish Gaelic deck. I love this deck uh, because I love all things Irish. <laughs> before, I, before I knew I had Irish in my blood, I used to just be so in love with Irish Ireland and the dialect and everything about it and then I found out oh I have some ancestry from Ireland and it was like wow that maybe that's why love the color green and everything one more They're saying the mermaid. I'm going to use the mermaid deck to lay out my spread. And then any clarifiers will be in the Tarot of Morris. Okay, Holy Spirit, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. That one is to fly out. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Pisces. Okay. Someone rising Venus signs for Pisces. Give me the cars for Pisces. Someone rising and Venus signs. The highest messages for the ones who need it. Holy Spirit. Once they want to come out, but okay. Holy Spirit, give me cards for Pisces. Sure. December the fifteenth. Through to the end of the year. So what are you guys up to? Got any plans for the holidays? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Ugh. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna clarify a few of these. Okay, Holy Spirit, can I take it? Um, God damn it. Sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Can I clarify the eight swords? Uh, okay, never mind. I don't need to clarify that. Can you clarify? Shoot. Oh, 
باید کنم Sorry. <laughs> I know I've been looking at it, but give me another minute just to make sure everything is what I see, what spirit is giving me. Okay. <sighs> Under the deck for the mermaid tarot is the tower. Under the Tarot of Moors is the Five of Swords. In the center of your reading is the Fool in Reverse. And that Fool in Reverse, and I asked for clarification on it because I just wanted to see exactly what was this hold. This hold is confirmed by the hangman. Or this um, not wanting to go forward or is basically stagnation. I think I just did Aquarius's reading and it's very similar. Um, very similar but I didn't I didn't use the main I didn't use the same main spreads like for the cards so for the main spreads I used the Tower of the Moors for Aquarius but I'm still seeing a lot of the same cards that I put down but but your main spread is in the mermaid deck so I probably lost some of you just know that I use the different decks to clarify one another. But some of the same cards came out, but with a different deck. Hope you got that. Um, this is about a love connection. This is about a love connection who and which let me put it this way you may have been in a love connection that you guys either broke up had a disagreement where um, all parties involved uh, didn't benefit from it like no one won no one lost like it was like a stalemate kind of a thing like you know well basically you both lost I'm gonna say no one won no one lost but you guys kind of did because you lost out on each other um, in the past I have the moon for you guys which is your sign I also see this cancer and it's in the reverse so that means things came to the surface and an ask spirit to clarify what are these things that came to the surface lies within a connection or lies um, and deceptions came to the surface about an affair somebody found out about an affair or 
there were just lies within the connection. And it came out. They came out, but I feel like um, it came out that was the tower. That was the tower moment when these lies and deceptive hidden things came out. The tower fell and you both essentially had to cut your losses. When these when this came out, your relationship was very rocky and unsteady and um, there was no security within it. You guys you know, probably separated or went in a different direction. Somebody dropped the ball and essentially you guys were definitely not happy about it. I don't, I'm not seeing which party did this. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person. You guys know who you are. Just put whomever in the scenario. Um, I'm getting that somebody was in their head about this. Somebody was um, just very mentally exacerbated over this situation. Like, it's like somebody saying, they put me in this situation, you know, whoever went out and out of the marriage out of the relationship the other person is saying they put me in the situation and my hands are tied you put me in the situation and and how can i journey through this situation with you when you you kind of put me through this I'm not sure if you guys are still together or not. I'm kind of getting the scenario that you are not. I feel like maybe that was in the past that this tower fell and you cut your losses with this person and you were you were tied and you couldn't do anything about it. Like it, it was a done deal. It was a wrap and, it, and, and that relationship ended. Some of you um, could have possibly reconnected again some of you a very small fraction of you um i'm getting like several different scenarios i'm getting that you began a new love affair you know somebody was after your heart or after you and you were kind of like uh, i don't know if i should trust them like i don't know like you, you accepted it, um, but you were kind of still contemplating, like, do I really want this? I don't know if this is going to be successful or this is going to work out. Some of you may just want a new beginning with somebody else, but deep down you are... Um, still hesitant and not ready to give your cup of love to somebody else. In that scenario, for the future, I see that you are having a hard time being confident in having your wish fulfilled and getting the desires of your heart. Like you are kind of giving up on the idea of having it all or having what you desire. Like you're losing faith in that you can have that or that that that's something that spirit has for you. And I see that in, in the future that you will possibly be fighting back and fighting those energies that put you in a place where you're unsure and un, um, not sure if you're going to be able to 
have all that you want. I see that you're getting out of the indecisiveness. You're, you've, you know, reflected on the situations in the past and you are going to look forward. And in looking forward, you are going to go after your son. But first you have to retreat back and look at all that you've been through. You know, get out of the indecisive energy, the uncertainty that the divine um, can see you through this. And that you can be loved and that you will be loved again. And that you don't have to see being in love as always is going to be heartache and heartbreak. I feel like you are on the fence because you feel like every time I get in, a, get in a love connection, you know, it's, you know, it's a little imbalanced or it takes a lot to uphold and it, maybe sometimes it's um, uneven in the relationship. But Spirit is saying... Heal yourself and learn how to balance yourself. And then when you get in a relationship, knowing who you are, knowing what you stand for, you can fit in within that relationship and say, okay, this is what I want. This is what I need. You know, this is a relationship takes balance, okay? If it's off kilter, you're going to get a tower moment. So Spirit is saying you can build a new foundation. You can build with somebody else. Or if it, this is a person that you see um, one second. I don't see this person re-entering your life. I'm sorry, guys, but I see that, you know, you may have new love with somebody else on the horizon. I think this person in the past that had lies and deceptive energies around them, that, that you know, all the lies that came to the surface and came out, I think you've done away with that tower moment and you cut your losses and you said goodbye to that you're still struggling with um the heartache and heartbreak and you're you know a little unsure of what the future holds for you you're not confident in having your wish fulfillment you're um losing faith in the idea that you can have this um desired happiness you've always wanted and you like you kind of have the belief that relationships cause heartache and heartbreak and the divine is saying that is not true i'm going to get um some oracle cards to see what advice spirit is giving me for you because i you know only got some advice here but i know when i do this you guys will see more so Holy Spirit, what advice can we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for Pisces for December 15th due to the end of the, end of the year. I'm sorry. Okay, those fell out a lot. Okay. I am going to read the pamphlet. I'm being guided to do so. You have responsibility and you have grace. It is all too easy and disempowering 
excuse me. It is all too, sorry for the noise guys, it is all too easy and disempowering to blame others, society, or bad luck for our problem. Take back your power. Recreate and reestablish your inner structure by removing what no longer serves or hinders you. Put your own house in order, neat and tidy, making space to expand in ways that benefit you and the world around you. That was responsibility. Fourteen. With grace. Another sign got this. We can be our own worst critics. Berating yourself separates you from divine grace which is a gift freely given to all. To receive grace and divine love, you must accept yourself and realize you are worthy. See yourself through the eyes of grace. You, after all, carry a spark of the divine in your heart. Guys, Holy Spirit is saying, "Be take responsibility and take your power back. That tower fell, those lies were said, those lies came out. But you don't have to live in fear anymore. I'm going to do the crystal pendulum swing and see what you need to work on as far as your chakras. Holy Spirit, what does Pisces have to work on? Holy Spirit, Pisces, what does Pisces have to work on? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of December 15th through to the end of the year. Soda light is for the throat chakra. So something in your throat chakra, soda light. It's blue. Throat chakra's color um, is a resonation of blue. So something in your chakra, your throat chakra is imbalanced and um, it needs to uh, to be cleansed and balanced and healed. Uh, the short throat chakra deals with communication and confidence. And getting your points across and um, so on and so forth so um, there's a, uh, an extensive list that goes beyond that but uh, working on your throat chakra you can get soda light or other stones that represent the throat chakra vibration um, you can print out a picture of the stone you can look at the colors and um, you can just print out a picture have it in your bedroom or your workspace and meditate on that energy so that you can cleanse, um, balance, and heal that throat chakra so you can be uh, more effective at this time. I hope that this uh, reading resonated with you. Uh, it doesn't always resonate with everybody, as I've said, but thank you for sticking around, and I hope you guys have a wonderful and happy new year.